Hi everybody, this is Material Girl 338, otherwise known as Diane. I'm making uh, squash and um, it, with pasta, but actually I wanted to show you the recipe. I have olive oil here in the bottom of my pan and I'm sauteing some garlic, about six or seven cloves. I love my garlic. And just until it gets golden brown. And I'm adding this much uh, onions. Okay, I love my onions, I love my garlic, and this is a great dish, um, I'm using yellow squash, and it's a great vegetable, that's the squash, I cut it up in little quarters, and it's very easy, so I'm going to saute this until it gets like a light golden brown, and I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm going to just move this over. Sorry for moving the camera. All right, I'm going to move that over and I want my hand to be in the way. Let me just move that over a little bit more. I know you can see that, okay? All right, so this dish I serve with a uh, bow tie macaroni or any kind of uh, big macaroni that you want. I just added a little bit more oil because there wasn't enough. And I just had a problem with this oil. I bought Bocelli, here it is, Bocelli olive oil. Now, you know, I, I bought it and then I put it in my dispensers and look at this oil. I don't know if you could tell. Look, look how cloudy it is. It does not look like first press cold olive oil. So they must have blended it with something. And it's, it's got like all these white particles in it. And now, look at this. This is my Filippo extra virgin olive oil. Look, you could see right through it. So what's happening with this oil? I call the company up and um, nobody answers the phone. And I know that they do play games because they mix and blend the oils. You know, you think you're getting 100% uh, first cold pressed olive oil and you're really not because they're blending it with other oils. So you have to, you know, read the label. But this label says cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. It was not outside. It was not in a cold area. And the cold pressed is the, it's supposed to say first cold press means the first part of the olive the pressing that's the oil that you're getting all right so now i'm sauteing my onions and this is a very easy dish i'm going to put some pepper i like it a little bit spicy okay some salt And I want to just get the onions a little um, golden brown because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, tomatoes to it. Let me just get my tomato can. I'm sorry, I should have had it open. But I use also paste sometimes too. Meanwhile, the you know the onions are, will be getting brown on me. Keep that on high because you want to get those onions cooking. I use red peck, uh, crushed. I use uh, tutto rosso, the blue. If you see my other videos, I talk about tomatoes, and we're at the Jersey Shore, and. Uh, Red Peck is very good. I've been using them for years. America's Test Kitchen loves uh, Tutto Russo and Hunt's. But the, only the blue can. Don't get the green Tutto Russo because th that's like juice. This too. And years ago, this used to be clumpy. See? It's not clumpy. 
It's just like puree. And it says crushed. So go figure. All right. So in my, my onions are cooking nice. Okay, they, I'll get you closer so you can see in there. Okay, and now I'm going to add, uh, I have three, um, these are the three yellow squashes. I washed them, I scrubbed them, and then I didn't peel them, I just cut them in quarters, okay? Mix it around. And do this in a pot, a thick pot. This is like a, a cast iron, this is a cast iron pot. You know, um, do like a Dutch oven if you have a Dutch oven or um, a thick pot. You have to cook it for a while and you don't want it to burn. Okay, and now I have fresh parsley and that much. Can you see that? My fresh parsley in. Put one, that's good, that's paste. After the squash gets soft, don't keep on stirring it too much. Okay, now, now I'm putting like, um, like a little, maybe about a half a can. I may put a little bit more because you, you serve this over pasta and you want it to be juicy. And I'm telling you, this is a great dish. We were kids, and my mother cooked with vegetable vegetables all the time. Never had a problem eating vegetables because we made them in such a good way that we enjoyed eating them. I mean, you know, my mother used to make stuffed artichokes, cauliflower macaroni, broccoli macaroni, excuse me, uh, squash, zucchini. Okay. So you see how it is? It's like a little clumpy. Now, I'm gonna add some white wine. And white wine, any wine you want, and grated cheese. Picorino Romano. Lower the heat to medium, not even, like a little low. Keep it on low. Not too low, but low. Three, four, five, maybe six times. Go around the pot six times with the wine. And the cheese. You see, I, I do hand, hand things. Whatever you could pick up with your hand. Two of them, two or three. Pecorino Romano, Lucadelli, fresh. Don't get the one in the jar because that's garbage. Don't, you don't want that. That's ugh, it's like sawdust. You don't want that. All right, and try not to get the cheese on the floor. This is getting thick, which I want it to. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. Okay, I'm going to let this cook till it... Um, so it gets soft. I keep it covered because when you keep it covered, the juices um, penetrate through the vegetables and it makes it moist. And then I serve it with bow tie pasta. I cook the pasta in a separate pot and I serve it over cheese and it's delicious. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.